Cybercrime incidents in different forms have reached a new high in the country with emerging technologies being extensively misused for criminal purposes like artificial intelligence. The usual Google search is not what can be used to access the part of the internet which is called the dark net or dark web. The web as seen by a normal user is simply the surface web. The surface web, as statistics say, constitutes only 5% of the internet content. The second layer is the deep web, which is 90% of our internet uses in the form of emails, banking accounts, among others, essentially specific sites protected by security firewalls, passwords, etc. Then comes the remaining 5% which is the dark web or dark net for which there are designated platforms. It is further deep in the ocean of the internet and protected by several layers of encryption. In dark net, people anonymously communicate and share files with each other and will find various websites advertising. The dark web has become a hub for illegal activities such as drug trafficking, cybercrime and human trafficking. A number of criminal groups in India are using the anonymity of the dark web to carry out their illegal activities. Cyber gangs are using cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin to make anonymous transactions making it difficult for law enforcement agencies to track them down. The dark web is also being used to sell stolen data, including credit card details and personal information. Though invented in the mid-1990s to shield US intelligence, the dark web is a place for illicit activities like child pornography, human trafficking among others, and sometimes even to the extent of giving killing contracts. Drug cartels use the dark net with ease in a way that there are marketplaces from where the user can purchase the contraband without knowing or having physical contact with the vendor who can be anywhere in the world. The right to access the internet is a part of Article 21 of the Indian Constitution and as such, the dark web is not illegal. The anonymity of the dark web makes it difficult for law enforcement agencies to track down those involved in illegal activities and the use of cryptocurrencies makes it even harder to trace the transactions. The need of the R is to form specialized committees and teams to check and ban unregulated VPN services by taking help of Section 69 of the IT Act. Section 69 of the IT Act empowers the government to issue directions for interception or monitoring or decryption of any information through any computer resource, better infrastructure in the form of cyber experts and training of the officials of the cyber cell. IT laws in the country needs a revamp as there are generic sections such as punishments for publishing obscene material, sexually explicit content, depiction of children in sexually explicit act, etc. However, none that can target other criminal activities that are carried out on a large scale such as drugs and arms dealings using the dark web.